News at 6 is go time now for election officials tomorrow as the polls open at 7 o'clock in the morning for day of voting, where Americans get to cast their ballot and make their voices heard in this presidential election. Preparation, really an understatement here in Wisconsin, where more than 1,900 local election officials will carry out those voting procedures through the entire state. In Your Voice, Your Vote coverage, Brittany Schmidt talks about what you need to do to keep in mind at the polls. Cami, as we inch closer to Election Day, officials want to remind voters to look for election information from official sources like us or the Wisconsin Elections Commission. Don't rely on third party groups for election information. So here are some things to remember when voting in Wisconsin. When the polls open at 7 a.m. Tuesday, local election workers will start tabulating the more than 1.5 million absentee ballots in the state. Officials say that will take time. So don't be surprised if we don't get unofficial results when the polls close at 8 p.m. Election officials are always going to prioritize accuracy, integrity, and transparency over speed. And just because you're waiting until the early morning hours doesn't mean that anything has gone wrong. This just means that election officials, again, are prioritizing accuracy over speed in order to ensure that every legitimate ballot gets counted. If you still have a mail-in absentee ballot, it is too late to put it in the mail. Contact your clerk to see what your options are, whether it be handing it in in person or putting it in a drop box. If you mailed your completed absentee ballot in and tracking through myvote.wi.gov shows your clerk hasn't yet received it, call the clerk to figure out what your options are. We have weekly calls with the post office and just make sure that there isn't anything that's sort of systemic or widespread and we haven't heard of anything. Uh, the same from clerks, you know, certainly they've had uh, onesie twosie issues in particular cases, but we haven't heard of anything widespread uh, in terms of the mail. For day of voters, remember under Wisconsin law, employees have the right to take time off on election day, up to three consecutive hours to vote but make sure you give your employer advance notice. What that does, that advance notice does, is it gives the employer some rights as well. So the employer now has noticed that the employee will need to take up to three hours off. They can arrange for coverage for the employee during that shift. Um, and they can also designate the hours that the employee will take off during the workday. So they can look at their business needs and determine which three hours during the day will work best for them. When you head to the polls, don't forget a valid photo ID. Wisconsin law prohibits anyone from displaying their voted ballot, so keep the selfies out of the ballot box. And when it comes to election observers, they will be present. There may even be some from the DOJ. The interaction that a voter should expect to have with folks from, you know, government entities shouldn't be any different than the interactions that they would have with any observers at the polls, which is that they should be observing um, and certainly not causing any sort of disruption or disturbance to the voting process. The results reported tomorrow that we will all be monitoring are considered unofficial. In the next coming days, those numbers will be vetted, double and triple checked before they become certified. And because voting is a public act, that too will be open to the public for observation. Bill Cammie.